So, uh, a little while ago, I bought some of these, and I did quite well. I got a few. I got five, I think, out of the eight. And I want to know if there's a way of cheating the system. So, I might have bought a few more. When I say a few more, I went to the two local Aldis in my town and cleared them out. I bought 39 packs. So, we're going to start off with the outer packaging. Now, I've gone through this as best I can and I can't see any difference in the packaging whatsoever. So, the barcode is the same on every single one. I was hoping that on this bottom area here, uh, where it's like embossed, that there would be a difference, where there'd be some sort of a code. Nothing that I can see whatsoever. Uh, the numbers here, the one that ends in 8NN and 755, is the same on every single bag. So trying to do it from the outside is just not going to happen. So then I had another idea, which may involve this. Now, these are very, very small scales, as you can see. So I had an ingenious idea of uh, using a floppy disk to make the base plate slightly larger. So what we're gonna do now is hopefully work out the weights for most of the items, which we shouldn't be too bad at. What I'm gonna do is I've got the the Game Boys that I already have. What we can do is if we use that to begin with, so that's 13.3, that's gonna be a solid 13.3 on every single one, I presume. There we go, so that's 13. Point three on a Game Boy Advance to try and get a base weight of that, which is 16.1. So I make the plastic to weigh uh, 2.8 grams. Then we have the paper and cardboard, which we'll do together because that should hopefully be this roughly the same in every single one. So that comes out at 7.3 grams. So now we're going to weigh all of the individual items. So we've got the D uh, sorry, yeah, the Nintendo DS is at 19.8. The NES controller is at 12. GameCube is at 17.5. That's quite a heavy one as well. Now, this is going to be an interesting one because the, these two, because you've got uh, two different variants where the, the grey and the gold should weigh exactly the same. That's 15.3. And then the SNES controller is coming to come in at 12.1. Oh, there's 0.1 gram difference between that and the NES controller. So what I'm going to do is add all this together and we will come up with totals in, just to make it even more confusing, the totals are gonna to be in this box here. Okay, so we are back. It looks about right. So the, the weight of the packaging is 10.1 grams, and then you've got the individual weights of the individual items as well, and that's now decided to turn itself off, so we're just gonna turn it back on again. So we're gonna find, once away so we go with this one because it's closest and that comes in at 25.7 i've not twist <laughs> okay the the closest is the dmg oh it's not going to pick it up is it believe me that says 25.6 let's just see if i can zoom in if that's going to make any difference whatsoever there we go, slightly darker setting. So that's 25.6. So looking at, if we just move that over slightly, we should be looking at, potentially, it's a DMG. So the only way to test this is to literally test it. I'm so hoping I'm right. Oh my God. <laughs> right. Okay, so that's that's one one down. It's quite a heavy one. 25.8. Uh 25.8. Again, we're in the realms of of DMG. Let's just zoom it out slightly so you guys can hopefully see my paper as well. Um right, so 25.8. Let's just re 
position it and try that again. 25.8 dead. So again, that would leave me lead me to um, 23.4, nowhere near. 22.1, nowhere near. 27.6, nowhere. It's got to be another DMG. It has to be. It bloody is as well. Okay, our goal now is to get something that's not a red DMG. Right, so we have... Oh, this is heavy. 30.2. So we're going to hazard a guess that this is going to be a 3DS. Nope. That is the 3DS. Jesus Christ. This is actually going really, really well. 23.9. So this should be a game, potentially going to be a Game Boy Advance because it's 0.5 grams away from that. 23.9 is is the closest, without a doubt. There we go. It's a Game Boy Advance. So the the scales are, or the, the measurements aren't going to be exact, but it's definitely doable. The only thing is, it means taking a set of these scales and a floppy disk into the shop. Right, so we have 27.9. Oh, so this should be a GameCube, because the GameCube comes in at 27.6. GameCube, 22.6. I would hazard a guess it's probably, it's 0.5 grams away from the NES controller, so we'll keep that to one side for the time being. 21s, uh, that's potentially another NES controller, so we're just gonna reposition it and just double check. So that's heavier now, 22.3. 22.2 is the NES, so we'll put that to one side. I'm gonna end up opening all these anyway. Oh, that's quite a heavy one. So we've got 30.3. Again, I would hazard a guess that's gonna be a 3DS. 23.8. 23.8, uh, our closest is going to be Game Boy Advance. Lo and behold, it's a Game Boy Advance. Looking for, I'm gonna go for 25.4, okay? We're gonna keep on going until we get 25.4. 26, uh, that's a bit too heavy. Okay, this one's reading at 28.2, which it's like dead in the middle of the GameCube and the 3DS. So I think it's worth an opening. Wow, okay, I was not expecting that. I'm hoping that this is somewhat informative to at least someone out there. Failing that, you've just um, sat through a weird bloke just uh, weighing blind bags to see if he could work out what was going on. But I'm gonna open up pretty much everything that is in front of you uh, so yeah if you want to see a speed up version of that feel free to continue to watch failing that i will see you guys on the next one peace
For those of you who decided to watch till the very, very end, uh, this is what we got out of, I think it was 49 different bags. So we got two of the golden chase chase versions of the DMG. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the Game Boy Advances. Only three 3DSs by far out of the common ones, quite rare. Uh, then the classic DMG, DMGs, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. Red DMGs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. Uh, Game Cubes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. Uh, four of the N64s, five of the NESs, and one, two, three, six of the SNESs. So, yeah, pull rates are, are all over the place, I think. It's, it's quite average apart from the the 3ds's i think that's that's honestly surprised me as to how little i pulled uh so what i'm probably going to do is i'm going to keep a master set for myself uh probably end up selling uh another master set master set being the original eight plus the the chase uh dmg then i'll do a full set uh, to be sold and then I will then do the ones individually as well but yeah these are all available for either trade or for selling so you guys know me you've got my details you've got my eBay whatever you need in order to contact me and we can sort something out not a problem at all